Well, he led deputies on a chase driving a front end loader. Today, state police released lapel video showing the suspect refusing to stop until sheriff's deputies opened fire, shooting him. News 13's Merce Lucero has the video and a warning. Some of you may find it disturbing. Cell phone video captured the moment Roosevelt County deputies, guns drawn, surrounded a front end loader in Portales back in January. Put the brake on! I can't move. Minutes before, <laughs> deputies say the man in the driver's seat, James McFarlane, he's heading east across that field, led them on a nearly 20 minute chase through town. I'm right behind him on the field. I'm just going through where he plows the fence. Deputies were originally called out when neighbors say McFarland came home in the front end loader. He crushed his wife's Jeep and flipped it over in his front yard, then took off. During the chase, McFarland refused to pull over for deputies. This guy's lost his mind. When McFarland drove into an empty field, deputies say he ignored emergency lights and several commands to stop. So they fired, shooting McFarland. The deputy continued talking to McFarland until paramedics got on scene, even asked him why he ran from them. My wife. Man. Days after the shooting, we learned it was Sheriff Malin Parker who shot McFarlane in the head. Video shows both front and back windows of the tractor riddled with bullet holes. The sheriff was immediately put on leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Two months ago, the district attorney cleared the sheriff of any charges, saying he was, quote, preserving life. Well, he did what he had to do. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE, News 13. McFarland was supposed to be released to state police after he recovered in a Lubbock hospital, but the department says the hospital released him. He now has a warrant out for his arrest.